hi guys so today i want to talk about color correcting and so pretty much um color correcting just means when you have um some type of discoloration or something on your skin pretty much just making it all an even canvas so for example i have a birthmark here um you know i've had it forever i mean i'm not on my day i usually don't cover it up because your makeup most likely will cover you know if you have like a full coverage foundation or even medium coverage and powder most likely it'll like blend it in but when you do color correcting you are pretty much kind of making it disappear like canceling out that color so like a bride or anything like when you know you want to look flawless like on camera and also in person you will do some color correcting and the way that this works pretty much is you're going to refer to your color wheel i'm going to try to put like a color wheel somewhere in here and so you know what i'm talking about but pretty much you know your primary colors like when we are in like kindergarten or school you know they teach you your primary colors right like green blue you know red all that so what this is is pretty much the color theory meaning the two shades that are complementary like for example purple and orange are complementary green and red uh yellow and blue these colors are complementary to each other meaning when they're next to each other they're gonna make each other pop like lakers you know they're yellow and purple because those two shades to put together look really good together but when you put them on top of each other, then they're going to cancel each other out. So, for example, I'll show you. I'll put a, let me get a very bright yellow shade. Okay, so I have a bright yellow shade here. And I am going to grab that with my finger. And I'm going to put some on my hand here. So you see that there. And then using this NYX um, color correcting concealer, I'm going to grab a little bit of it. Um, sorry, I need my little spatula because I don't want to get my fingers in it. Okay, so I have this little spatula here. So I'm going to grab purple. And I'm going to, well, I'm just going to put it on the side of my feet. Hand there, but with my index finger, I grabbed a little bit. And now I'll see if I can do it on camera. I am putting it on top of that yellow. I'm just blending it, blending it, blending it. And you see how that now becomes like a gray shade. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Sorry, I'm trying to blend it. <laughs> blend it all in there and you see now it's like a it's a gray shade and that's what color correcting does so that's what we're gonna work on today again this is not something that you have to do in you know in your makeup routine every single day it's just something that it can help um when you have some like you know dark circles like when you have a lot of um if you have like blue or green on your skin um you know red a little bit of uh green will cancel that out and you know like this little mark right here we can all make that disappear and just give ourselves a blink perfect flawless camp thing is that like having these like little imperfections on your face it's totally normal and it's totally fine like I'm not saying that it's something that needs to be covered up. I don't cover anything up most of the time, but it's just always a cool technique to know in case you have somewhere to go or something and, you know, you have like that big, you know, like a zit and then you popped it or something. That's happened to me, as you can see, all these scars. And sometimes it's just good to be able to cover it. So, for example, these right here and that's what we're going to do okay so i'm gonna go ahead and again i'm gonna go into my color correcting little palette here and i'm gonna pick up a little bit of the green with my little spatula i just got used to picking the, these up with a spatula because i use these like when i used to do makeup um you know on people and obviously i wasn't going to put my finger in there and use it on somebody else so i would grab you know everything on the spatula and put it on this little tray and that's why you know but i really haven't worked on doing people's makeup anymore so i don't do that <laughs> so first i'm going to go ahead and prime and i'm going to use this puff primer puff puff primer from elf 
and we're gonna go ahead and prime our skin as you can see i already did my eyes i did just like a quick halo eye and i'm gonna do like a reel for it on instagram so you can see it there um at jv beauty on instagram but and then these lashes are some that we're like trying out this style they're definitely more full and round so for people who have more of a like a long straight eye you know a round lash will kind of make it pop and make it look rounder um for sure so i'm just patting that in when you put primer it's very important that you like tap it in like don't rub it like it's not lotion you're supposed to like pat it in so that it fills your pores okay so i'm going to go ahead and grab the little green right there and just with my index finger i'm going to put a little bit of that here and a little of that there now this right here is you know making a little i have like a zit but for the little scars, I'm going to blend that green with a little bit of yellow because the, my scars have some purple in it. So, and don't put too much, you know, like don't cover your whole face, okay? You're supposed to just spot correct, like spot correct here. Don't put it too much or too far because then you can give your skin a whole different hue. Another reason why I feel like it's important to know these things is because there's a lot of like, um, uh, you know, like concealers out there that are like, oh, just put orange under your eye and it'll like cover the dark circles. For the most part, yes, it will, because most people have blue, you know, discoloration because our veins, right? But with someone who has a golden tone like myself, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but my veins are green that means that i have a golden yellow undertone so if you put you know uh, a yellow under my eyes it's just gonna make me look more dead or if you put like an orange it's gonna make me look kind of reddish so it doesn't technically work for everyone um and that's the thing that i know a lot of people try to like generalize but it doesn't technically work like that it's very you just kind of have to know like the tone that you have on your skin and the color wheel that I'm telling you helps a lot with that. Because you can like put the, you know, like your shade next to it and you can see like if it makes it brighter, like if it makes it pop out at you or if it just kind of tones it down. If it makes it pop out at you, like for example, if you have like some green under your eyes and then you put the red right next to it, it'll make that green brighter to your eye i know it sounds crazy but it works <laughs> and um and also like when you do um anything that has like blue and then you put like yellow next to it it'll make it pop so that's how you know now i'm putting the little So I know right now that looks crazy, but trust the process. <clears throat> and I'm putting a little bit of purple and red mixed together to make that blend. And see, it's very easy to make it all big. Don't do that. <laughs> Keep just a little spot correct. Don't blend it all over. Because then that will just give you a big old like spot, like a bigger spot on your face. And you don't want that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave that for there now. And again, look a little crazy. Trust the process. It's coming along, I promise. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this deep olive concealer from e.l.f. And it's a little darker than my skin tone. But the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm very, very tanned still and I'm gonna use this lighter shade. So 
I don't want it to pop out even more. So I'm just gonna put that here, and I'm just gonna put that there, and that there, and blend it out. And still, I'm using my finger. Honestly, it's the best thing that you can do. So, now that we cancel those spots out, I am just now concealing them. So first we correct it, then we conceal it. Makeup is a process, guys. And again, this is not something you have to do every day. You do not have to do it every day. It's just whenever you have that occasion where you want to look perfect, then you can do this. And then you'll kind of know the basics of what you have to do to make sure that you don't have any of those like you know scars or anything popping out and it just makes you feel so now that i'm all concealed i am gonna go ahead and add my and uh, put on my foundation i'm gonna be using the wet and wild photo focus okay now that i look hella crazy with the spots on my face <laughs> we are gonna blend it out And then you know how I said about the primer, you know, making sure that you don't just rub it on your face. Same thing with the foundation. You can rub um, at first to, you know, make sure that sometimes foundations dry up very fast. And they can obviously dry up in like, you know, like how I put those like dots. They'll like dry up like that. And now you have like a dot in your face. So first rub, but then pat it into so that it'll get inside your pores which that's why it's very important to like deep clean your face every day after you use makeup because all that makeup is going to be sitting in your pores and it's not cute see i don't have like the red spots or the red right here and my birthmark beauty mark whatever it's gone and there we go so now i'm gonna go ahead and contour Ooh, i don't know what i dropped i'm gonna go ahead and contour with the rich chocolate and highlight we have nose and then i'm gonna cut right there like where my nose starts going up and down here to shorten it and make it like a little button nose <laughs> then a little bit under my lip right there and a little on my forehead so i first like to blend the um, the contour because um, um this concealer dries up very fast so and i always start with my nose because my nose is a very particular like it's, it gets oily really fast, so then the makeup will just sit on it weird if I let it dry on top of my nose. So I have to make sure that I blend my nose first and foremost. So now, remember when you blend your contour, very important, always go up, 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 up don't go down do not drag your face down and only to the corner of your eye don't drag it all the way to your mouth because then you're just gonna create the opposite effect your face will look shorter and like just i don't know down like you're gonna be dragging your face down and that is not what you want here we are painting underneath our jaws Here, I'm gonna blend it. I put a little too much, and that's okay. I'm gonna blend it with my foundation brush right now. It's no problem. There is nothing you can't fix when it comes to makeup. You just kind of have to know how to do it. And I'm patting here because I don't want to like disrupt my um, beauty mark color correcting we did that will defeat the purpose it's 
So you see here, I went all the way in here. And I don't know if you can see in the on you know on camera, but me looking just like straight in my mirror, this side right here makes my face look shorter. And I already don't really have a big face, like a big head. <laughs> but I don't have a big face, so I don't want that. I don't want my face to look even shorter and like squished, if that makes sense. So let me get my how to fish out my foundation brush right, here we go and i'm just blending all of that and there you go and i have my mini ears because i miss disneyland i know it's open i to go but i don't know i keep seeing those videos of like that there's no trams right now so people are walking from the parking lot all the way to disneyland and that's a long walk like I don't know and then plus what you have to walk in there I don't know I think I'll I'll wait either until I lose a little bit more weight or they open the trams back up <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight now we're gonna bring light back to our face And I'm using my contour sponge, which it's dirty already. I apologize. When you highlight, always remember to lift, 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 lift all the time. And now I always seal it with translucent powder and use my little wedges because that just helps me not have to wash my sponge more often than I need to just keeps it cleaner longer even though it doesn't look clean but it's clean I mean you know just stain but clean <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> so just look at the difference like you know this side and like how do you, okay I think this okay so you see this eye you know and then this side right here <laughs> my hands are pretty small if you can tell so I think that makes it even harder. So now this side, ugh, the sun is going down already. Now I'm gonna go ahead and contour my drawers. I need to put some WD-40 on them. I'm gonna set my contour because I already contoured, but just very ever so slightly and especially on my nose. Now with my Fit Me powder, I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. Just like that. I don't know why, but I love doing this part. I always try to set like on the sides of my nose because my nose is like, you know, well, most people it's, you know, where your makeup breaks up the fastest because it's the more oily part of your face. So just, just like to set my T-zone. 
just for like a few minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and put blush. I am gonna face brush. I am gonna blend all that and harsh lines be gone. There we go. I am pretty rough on my face, to be honest. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I am. Except around my eyes, because the skin around your eyes, guys, is seven times thinner than the rest of your face. And that's why that is the first thing to lose, you know, elasticity and get, you know, little lines and stuff like that. So it's very important that you're gentle around your eyes. So I'm just clean this up like that. And I put on my highlighter when I still had powder on. And I do that so that my highlighter doesn't look like super beaming and like, you know, I want like more of a natural glow. But if I didn't, then I would go ahead and put it after I remove the powder and spray some Fix Plus on it too. Because that really helps. <laughs> Sorry guys, they're not my dogs. <laughs> Okay, and then lastly, I am going to go ahead and use this uh, LA Girl Lip Liner Sugar and Spice. It's called, I don't like try to overline my lips or anything. I just follow the lines. I'm just gonna put a little bit of I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, lip gloss just on the center okay and lastly we're gonna do the bottom uh, lash line and I use the elf very bad and with a pencil brush if I can find one okay there we go pencil brush I'm gonna go in this light shade here. The shades don't have names, but you know, the lighter one, matte light one. Under my eye here. And then with the dark shade, I am gonna go ahead and do it a little higher than the lighter shade. Almost all the way in like my waterline pretty much. Whew. And we're gonna go in with the little berry shade. Eh, why not? And do that in the center just to add a little bit more. because you know i'm extra like that and there's nothing wrong with that so now i'm gonna just highlight my inner corners because even though i have a halo eye and you normally don't need to highlight easily your uh corner your inner corners because that you know defeats the purpose i'm gonna just put a little bit of white shadow a little bit and just blend that in there you uh, know also, just FYI, because I, I don't know, I just like, I like the technicality of makeup. Like, I don't know, like the reason why we do the things that we do. I know that a lot of, um, you know, people make it seem, you know, they kind of just do what everyone else does. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, we all do makeup on our own way. The only thing is that what works for me might not work for you, might not work for the next person. So that's why it's important to me to like tell you guys why I do what I do. And so like, you know, when I tell you like I put makeup, you know, down here and down here because my face is a little bit more chubby. If you, um, you know, and like, let's say if your chin's a little bit more out, then you probably would want to put contour down there too, just so that I like 
brings it in a little bit more or you know things like that but um the point is that the reason why you would do inner uh inner corner highlight is to create space in between your eyes when people have their eyes too close together um as a makeup artist you try to put you know a more inner highlight because that will create space in between your eyes if your eyes are too separated you know if you have like a wider you know no like a bridge um and you're they're more separated you wouldn't want to put any inner highlight because that's just going to make your eyes look even further away from each other and you you know a halo eye like this or you know just leaving it blank would be even better that's the reason why most people do inner highlight um you know again you do what you like what you think looks better for you i'm just telling you like the why that's it <laughs> okay it's my beauty mark gone my little zits are blended nicely in there they're not like you know popping out discolored and yeah and then let me know if you guys like these lashes because they are different than the ones than the mostly the ones that we always have we always like to have very wispy and variation of shade if you guys like this look let me know thank you so much for watching i hope i don't make it too long i'm gonna stop talking now and yeah take care guys i'll see you guys next time <laughs>